right. First off, Caleb Murphy, you guys are one of the eight teams left playing in Division Two football. How does that feel for you? Uh, uh, great for the opportunity. You know, um, not a lot of guys get to do this. You know, there's over 160 teams in the D2 football. So, you know, to be one of the eight teams left, you know, it's pretty nice. But, you know, there's still some work to be done. So, yeah. I've obviously, last season you guys won the national championship. And, you know, with this uh, being one of the eight teams left, how well does that uh, experience from last season help, in, you, help you in these moments for uh, – this game on Saturday? Um, I think it helps a lot just for the simple fact of guys know what it takes. You know, um, it's going to take every single one of us to get the job done, um, no matter who we are. You know, so just experience, like you said, um, being there a few times uh, will help everything as long as the guys are doing their jobs, you know, and just focusing on what we can control. And Caleb, what was your reaction when you heard that you were named one of the finalists for the Ted Hendricks Award? That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, um, I actually had no idea what it was because I am a D2 guy, so you know, I never really focused on it. But uh, my mom sent me it first before actually I found, found out from the school, so it was pretty cool. Uh, happy I got to share that moment with her. And the same question about being one of the people mentioned for Harlan Hill finalists, just what type of – I know you put more team success first, but having those individual accolades kind of thrown your way, how do you sum that up? Um, like you said, the team uh, – I would most definitely tell my teammates thank you. You know, without them, I would be nothing. Um, the guys, they've they've had an effect on my whole life since I've been here. So, you know, uh, all my success goes to them, especially at D-line. You know, they do their jobs, I do mine. Sometimes I get lucky and they do too, you know, so it just goes that way. I'm sure they thank you too, though, because, I mean, the team is in the position they are partly because of what you've been able to do on the defensive line with the amount of sacks and pressures and tackles for loss that you've had. I mean, the, the type of season you've turned in is one that, has been seen in NCAA football before, you know, when, when you hear that, that you're in that rare air, you know, is it, is it kind of hard to, to just keep moving forward or do you have to reflect on that? I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm here to win a national championship. Uh, we won one last year. I love that feeling more than I loved anything, the All-American Award, Defense Alignment of the Year, any of it, um, you know, so that's what I want to get back to is that feeling of a national championship. 24 and a half sacks this year. Did you have a number in mind? Did you set a goal for yourself? So, yeah, um, me and my mom, uh, we talked about it before the year. She asked me what my goals were. She asked me every year, and uh, this year I told her, I said, I want to break the record, uh, break Judon's record. That was the only goal was uh, to get to 21 and a half. You know, luckily I had three more, you know, last game than three. So, you know, it was pretty cool. Did you? So you knew going into the game you needed three, and what was it like getting six sacks in one game? Um, I had five against Lenore Ryan, so the moment was kind of already there, you know, so um, – Glad I had the experience. You know, I didn't get too heavy-headed or anything like that. Uh, just wanted to win the game. You know, it was a close game. So, you know, I wasn't really worried about the sacks at that point. I was more focused on, you know, finishing the game out and finishing strong for the team. We've talked a lot to you about being a Grand Valley, transferring to Ferris. What has got you to this point? I mean, you are obviously have improved every year. How have you done that? Tesla. Um, Tesla Smith, he's a, a wonderful guy. Um, since I've met him, he's done nothing but help me get better, um, including the D-line teammates. You know, they've taught me everything that I've known. You know, everything that I use, uh, I could talk about every single one in the room. But Tesfa is a person who um, allows you to be yourself and play the football through the through the team like that, and as well as Hodge. You know, Hodge has helped me too, and Tony Anise too, Tony Anise Jr. Um, he's, he's pretty cool. Um, they all help me grow my game in different ways, you know, and they uh, sat me down. I sit in rooms with them all the time, so that's about it. Not Ferris, GDSU rivalry is Ferris, talking about wanting to pass Judon's record, and now that a Ferris State guy has it, you know, is that something that you guys hope you can keep that record for as longer than he had it? Um, I'm hoping to add on, you know, so uh, making it more impossible to touch. Um, you know, uh, Judon's a great football player. He's one of my favorite pass rushers in the NFL now. So, um, you know, just the grittiness and everything that he has, you know, uh, to pass that was pretty cool. What does it take personally from yourself as an athlete to get to a number like that? Um, hard work, dedication, and, you know, no days off. You know, uh, I got teammates in here that – Push me to work harder than I do. Marcus Taylor, um, he's uh, he's one of the hardest workers I know, and uh, you know I just push myself to be like that. You know, so hard work and dedication will put can, you can do anything with that. And just talk about this weekend against Grand Valley State. You know, this was uh, inevitable. Now we are, we're here, and uh, how are you feeling as you get ready and uh, for that big game? Um, take a game by uh, day by day, you know, and then uh, play by play. You know, um, guys can only control what they can control. So we're gonna go out there and play football, have fun. Uh, that's the biggest thing about it. Um, so you know, I just wanna, just wanna. Uh, I'm grateful for another opportunity with my teammates. How much do you look at how they pass blocked you in that first matchup, or do you just say that first game doesn't matter? We have to start fresh. Uh, they slid to me every time, um, so uh, they get a lot of recognition for that. But I wanna let that be known. Um, 
they slid to me every time. Uh, but guys are going to be healthy this time. We didn't have a lot of healthy guys around the last time, but we will be healthy and we will have a good time.